Make dates and birthdays special. Master English Ordinal Numbers 11th 20th. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we're diving deeper into the world of English numbers. Specifically, we're going to focus on ordinal numbers from the 11th to the 20th and learn how to use them in the context of dates and birthdays. You'll find it's a piece of cake once you get the hang of it. Before we get into dates and birthdays, let's quickly refresh our knowledge on ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are used to show position or order in a list. When it comes to the numbers 11 to 20, the ordinal form is as follows. 11th, 11th, 12th, 12th, 13th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th, 20th. Take a moment to notice that these are not simply the numbers with th added on the end. Some spelling changes are required, particularly with 12th and 15th. Now that we've revised our ordinal numbers, let's use them to express dates. In English, when we talk about dates, we usually use ordinal numbers. For example, if a party is held on the 13th of July, we say, the party is on the 13th of July. Note that we typically pronounce the th at the end of the ordinal number. Here are some more examples. I was born on the 15th of August. The concert is scheduled for the 18th of December. Practice pronouncing these sentences until you feel comfortable using these ordinal numbers. In the context of birthdays, we also use ordinal numbers. However, it's important to know that when we refer to the date someone was born, we use cardinal numbers. For example, I was born on June 16th. But when we refer to the celebration of the birth, we use ordinal numbers. My 16th birthday was a blast. Here are a few more examples for practice. I can't wait for my 17th birthday. His 20th birthday is next week. And that's it, folks. Today, we've learned about ordinal numbers from 11th to 20th and how to use them in the context of dates and birthdays. Now, you can confidently and accurately express dates and talk about birthdays in English. Keep practicing, and remember, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more lessons, and keep up the great work.